Hey guys, this is December 1st, the final month of 2014. We're seeing something extremely interesting on monthly chart. Let's remember gold moves completely opposite of the indices, correct? I'd like to highlight to you what we're seeing on gold daily, something we had not seen in years. We're witnessing the most powerful bullish formations that we had not seen in years. So here's gold daily. To the upside, 1220 remains crucial. If gold is not going to find selling pressure, next level 1250. After 1250, next level 1295. 7. This is where it's going to get extremely interesting as we're going to learn if witness if this rally transforming into a larger time frame. Are we seeing anything exciting on monthly? No, we are not. We're seeing that monthly is only taking a bit of a pause. A bit of a pause. So, very, very crucial to monitor if this bullish rally on gold daily will continue. And if this bullish rally can blast through these levels to the upside, it will transform to larger time frames. Again, bullish rally is in on daily to the upside 1220 the end of the minor trend next level 1250 after that we start heading into serious serious major trend formation if sellers are not found this rally will transform into monthly chart also what are we seeing the most crucial formations we had not seen on oil in years levels not levels not touched on oil in five years Oil heading to 62.90. After 62.90, we expect a bit of a pullback. Oil is heading to 57 and then 43. This is the most powerful, powerful collapse we had not seen in years. I have not touched this levels on oil since five years ago. Price fell down since five years where price will be eventually. And let's take a look on bonds and S&P. As we know extremely well, they're moving completely inverted from oil. This is precisely why bonds had been seeing selling pressure, because bonds are not far off from reversal zone. Very, very late to acquire bonds, as bonds not far off from reversal zone. Extremely important area. Exactly the same thing we are seeing on S&P monthly. All the levels spelled out for years, coming to very, very crucial reversal zone levels. And that remains the key, and that is not to be ignored. So again, expecting extremely exciting 2015. In indices, we're going to start seeing pretty powerful, at least bearish corrections, if not bearish reversals. And gold may give us extremely powerful buying opportunities we had not seen in years. If only this bullish rally will break through reversal zone on daily, this bullish rally will transform into monthly chart. Remains to be seen as bearish trend not far off from exhaustion levels. So will this bullish rally on gold pick up the steam or will we get a bit of a chop and we'll have to wait a while? until it will pick up this team. Bottom line is, bearish trend on gold comes to exhaustion level, just like bullish rally on S&P comes to exhaustion level. If you know how to play by the rules, next year may be the year of very powerful opportunities. So for that reason, I cannot wait for Fibonacci Trading Bootcamp. We are going in on December 11th. December 11th is a day we'll be trading only with our students. We'll be trading anything from one minute to hourly to daily, weekly charts. Wherever we see opportunity, we will be taking advantage of. And I'll be drilling your knowledge of the markets. Can't wait to see you there. Any questions, please email me. Info at alphawavetrader.com Today we had an extremely exciting day, seven trades on December 1st alone. Three trades on S&P, first two, three and four points each, and five trades on oil. 
extremely, extremely active day. Remember to exercise extreme restraint if you ever come to such active market.